Greetings and Namaste. We are nearing the end of another stellar year for Seva International. In 2021, with the help of over 150,000 donors, we raised over $45 million in response to the COVID-19 pandemic to serve more than a quarter million people. We were able to quickly and effectively fund, procure, transport, and distribute vital medical equipments to critical location to save lives. We began 2022 armed with the trust and support we had gained in 2021. In fact, in January 2022, Benevity Inc. annual ranking placed Seva USA as one of the top 10 charities in US supported by companies and their employees, jumping nearly 700 spots in two years. This year, in recognition of our work, Congressman Jerry Connolly of Virginia and Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy of Illinois appreciated Seva International on the floor of the US Congress. They praised our service to underserved community and our development projects worldwide. While Seva is uh, doing all these uh, positive things and uh, the work expands beyond disaster relief, it remains one of our pillar of focus. Therefore, in February 2022, as conflict mounted in Ukraine, over 250 SEVA volunteers of Europe coordinated relief efforts in 18 Ukrainian cities. SEVA arranged transportation to the nearest border posts as hundreds of thousands began to flee. We provided food and shelter to students and others during their journey. Collaborating with various dharmic organizations, our volunteers helped nearly 12,000 individuals within the first 16 days of the war. Responding to a request by the Nigerian ambassador to Ukraine, Seva also played a crucial role in evacuating 467 African students from Ukraine. In April 2022, Seva International's Atlanta chapter began supporting the Save Soil movement through its Vasundhara Seva program. Save Soil is a global initiative launched by yogi and visionary Sadhguru to support to stop soil degradation. I'm proud to say that on April of this year, the Ram Gihani Center for Natural Cure started in Rowing Village in Arunachal Pradesh in India. The center offers much needed medical facilities, especially to those involved in charitable, social and voluntary work. Professor Ram Gihani's Seva Endowment Fund supported the center's construction. In April and May, we focused on providing immediate relief for the Colorado wildfire victims and also California wildfire victims in August and September. In August and September, we also responded to the floods in Pakistan and distributed groceries, essential supplies in Sindh and other flood affected regions. By partnering with the local organization, we served nearly 5,000 families. In uh, September, we worked with Americos to help Hurricane Fiona victims in Puerto Rico. Seva International also contributed $10,000 towards drought relief in Kenya. In partnering with the Arumuga Navalar charity project, we distributed food and other essential supplies in Sri Lanka in the time of need. In October, we helped Hurricane Ian victims in Florida with immediate relief. In addition, our volunteers distributed drinking water, food and other essentials in Fort Myers Beach, Sarasota and other places. In this context, I was honored to receive the Festival of Globe Award from the Federation of Indo-American of Northern California in August. And also in November, Maheshwari Mahasabha of North America uh, gave me Community Service Award. These awards were in recognition of Seva's work during the pandemic. It is uh, always a joy to work with young people. On July 30th, over 650 lead high school interns and college students across the US 
participated in Seva International's National Youth Convention. In September, Seva volunteers also participated in the Hindu Yuva National Summit in Chicago, which hosted students from 64 universities in USA. We also defended Seva International's name, efforts, and reputation against misinformation. In September, we dealt with a hateful resolution passed by the Teaneck Democratic Municipal Committee of New Jersey. We worked with other dharmic organizations and nearly 55 Hindu American organizations signed a coalition letter condemning the hateful resolution. No one can stop us or distract us from doing our service work. Seva International started constructing nearly 100 toilets in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh, Karnataka, Kerala, Maharashtra, Uttar Pradesh and a few more. Seva is building these toilets under the Sanitation, Hygiene and Empowerment Project for Girls. I could go on as your support has motivated us and also helped us serve our community together and without discrimination. I seek your support and continuous encouragement for all our endeavors. Please donate generously and remember, together we serve better. Namaste.